presented today in the gospel. Stories that we think we know very clearly. The parable of the seed and the mustard plant. Obviously emphasizing the smallness of the seed and the largeness of the plant, 10 or 12 feet when it's one. With little connection in between them. So you see the seed and you see the bush. The kingdom of God is really what's going on in between them. That God is active. God is bringing about something different, something extraordinary, something profound and large from the small seed. The second parable, uh, you think you just heard, but you didn't because it's really poorly translated. Uh, the story really is this one. A woman took yeast. She did not mix it in the bread. That's not what the verb is in the at all. She didn't mix it at all. She hid it. She covered it. She hid it. That's the verb in Greek. There's a whole lot of verb when mix. She didn't mix it. She hid it in three measures of flour. How much flour do you think three measures is? Well, if you're like us, we sort of think of these maybe in a package or maybe in a jar and a couple cups of flour. Three measures of flour would be somewhere between 50 and 60 pounds of flour. So already we have a very different parable than the one we just heard. A woman hides yeast in 60 pounds of flour. And then what happens is it's transformed. That's a very different transformation than we might have initially thought of. An incredible amount of wheat. And again, the smallness of the amount of yeast linking again to the small seed and the large tree. So it comes to us to think about what the kingdom of God is like. It really is about these powerful images where God is at work. That doesn't mean we don't cooperate. That doesn't mean we don't have something to do with it. And we're invited to participate in so many ways. But it really is about the slow, patient working of God. And that is something we can do. You know, so many people make these New Year's resolutions. They're going to do whatever. They're going to give up eating this, or they're going to go to the gym, or they're going to do whatever. And then, of course, it never happens. Well, because it ends up being too big. There are really small things that we can do. So if you want to learn a new language, you learn a word. I know that word now. In a day, you learn another word. And it's a slow progression. I mean, it is said, and it is there, that the longest of journey starts with the first step. I can't, I can't exercise, it's just too hot, I can't do that. It's not good for me. Okay, fine. You can't walk five steps. Maybe tomorrow you're six. The same thing applies very much in our experience in the moral world. So, so many of the 12 stick programs try and concentrate very specifically on saying, I could not possibly be sober for the next week. It's not possible. Or whatever it is. But I could do it for the next five minutes. And trust in God to support that and to honor that. And then they continue to move with that. So we should not be discouraged by our small efforts. The woman who places the yeast in 60 pounds of flour and trusts that it will turn out well. And it does. The sower sows the seed that is smaller than the pepper seed. You can barely see it. And it grows into the 10 foot bush. And it does because of the trust and the presence and action of God. And that's what the kingdom of God is for us. We can do slow and show you incremental things and not be discouraged, but always place our trust and our confidence in the God who can change the mustard seed into the bush and the small amount of yeast 